Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Joe. You ready to do this? I am. Let's go. Let's do this. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Good morning, Ray. You're home door for us. Thank you. Hey, let's, Ray. Let's get the show started. Let's go. Hi, I'm Karen. I'm Joe. Welcome and, to What's, What's happening? happening? Today we're <laughs> going to feature an app called Story Buddy. It's one of our TLI apps that we're using for literacy. <clears throat> and this is a really neat app because I know that um, in writing we're working with the writing process and one of the end results is that you get to publish a book. With this app it allows you to publish your own story. Um, what I do like about it is that it's more than just a story. Of course you can add your pictures, you can illustrate, um, you can write, you can type, which is great, things that you can do on a computer, right? But what makes this different that I can also add audio to my story as well. Um, one thing that's great is when we're, when we're publishing stories here, um, when the students are finished, they can also export to iBooks. So when they go onto their device and they click on iBooks to read some stories, now their story will be on a bookshelf as well, which is I don't know, that's pretty exciting to me. Yes. If, if I were a student, I think I would be very excited about that. <coughs> mm -hmm. I could be in, begin my own little library or own bookshelf with just stories written by my students. Um, there's one limitation that I want to warn you about because I ran into this in the classroom, is that the stories can only be a max of 15 pages long. So think about that when planning it out. Um, you're not going to write a 30-page book, right. but maybe a part one, part two, part three, or a series might work out for your students. Um, anyhow, uh, one other thing. If you are exporting the story to iBooks, you do lose the audio feature because when you export to iBooks, it's a PDF version. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that you want to kind of keep in mind. But if you stay within the Story Buddy app, you can preserve the audio. So I'm going to show you an example real quick. Yes. Let's do All it. right. So I'm going to launch my mm -hmm. Story Buddy app here. And I'll go ahead and rate this another time. <laughs> oh, oh, there's Joe. Wrong, wrong one, wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. This is a story that. Um, some students at Park Elementary School made uh, in 4C with Mrs. Dorte. They actually first started out by writing a class poem because they were starting their poetry unit and everyone contributed to the poem. And so we thought, well, how can we publish this? Let's go ahead and use the Story Buddy app, mm -hmm. right? Right, yeah, we can always create a story, but in this case, we we're going to create a poem in a book format. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this book so I can share it with you. Park Elementary, a poem by 4C. And then, <coughs> in the volume, can the volume up? Yay! Okay, let's try this one more time. Park Elementary, a poem by 4C. Bookshelves full of books. So one thing I want to point out is that each student uh, got to plan out one page of the book, mm -hmm. and each student had the opportunity <coughs> to decide whether they were going to illustrate or take a picture. Each student had that opportunity of deciding um, what, uh, I guess, what colors they wanted to use for their text and so forth. So I've got an idea. How about if we make a book together? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right. So within my Story Buddy app here, if I want to go ahead and create a new story so I can publish this, I'm going to click on the top left, New Story. And from within here, I'm now in My Story 3. And it looks a little similar to PowerPoint. You notice on the left-hand side, we have slides, which would be the pages of your book. Mm -hmm. And so if I hit the plus sign. On the bottom I'm, left. I'm, <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add additional pages to my story. All right. I'm going to tap on the very first page. And I can go ahead and create my title page. I have an idea. <laughs> I don't know if you knew this, but everybody wants to be like Joe. <laughs> So yeah. I, uh, before the show, I went out and took some pictures of Joe and one of his uh, followers, right? Um, <laughs> and I want to add a picture because drawing it would be a little too difficult mm -hmm. and time consuming here. So I'm going to click on the camera, top right, and that's going to give me access to my camera roll. So I'll click on my camera roll, and there they are. Joe's fan, <laughs> Mario, and Joe. And what's neat is I can resize this picture. I used one finger just to drag it around so I can position it. Two fingers, pinch or rotate. So you'll notice I was able to resize. Okay. And again, I could rotate it if I want like a different effect there. There we go. Yeah, Mario found me in Vegas. Yeah. He's he he following you, Joe. <laughs> All right. So I, I really like this picture. I'm going to use it to start off my book. Another one, one of the options that you see on the top is that there's a piece of paper. And what that allows you to do, I'm going to click on it, is to change the background or type of paper that you have. 
So I could put Joe on a little postcard here because he was in Vegas. Or I can choose a nice uh, color there. Joe, what, which, what's your favorite? I kind of like the earthy colors, like Earth. brownish stuff. All right. So let's so. go with the brownish earthy. How's that? Yes. Looks good? Makes me happy. All right. So of course, since this is a book, I need a title. Um, <laughs> what I found is that most kids prefer to type. So I'm going to click on the T for text here. And uh, let's title it. Mario wants to be just <laughs> like Joe. Uh oh, oh, space, space. Oh, like aloe? Aloe vera. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mario wants to be just like Joe. And that's the title. Again, with this, I can reposition, right, two fingers, I and I can move the text. I think it's text. just one finger. I think it's just oh, one thank finger. thank you. One, one finger. finger. Move the text around, or two fingers, or sorry, or move it to the center. It was two fingers in order to get some of the options here. So I'm going to tap on that here, and I can highlight it. And now I'm able to edit as well. So you see edit, you see style and delete. So edit is if I just want to change or if I maybe misspelled something. Yes. But style is awesome mm -hmm. because I can go and change that font to whatever style I'd like. Do you have a favorite, Joe? <sighs> no, not really, but something like fun would be cool. Something fun. Yeah. Mm, I'm going to do some scrolling. Wow, I have a lot of choices. Uh, yes. Mm, all right. Okay, noteworthy bold. Oh, yeah. uh, like it cool. looks nice. I nice. also like this uh, felt tip marker. I think I'm going to go with that. Oh, yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, okay, okay, center it here. So Mario wants to be just like Joe. And I can also write here. So I've got the paintbrush. And we'll choose the color black here again. And I can also decide how thick I want the writing to be. So you'll notice um, on the bottom right, that's how thick the writing is. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller here. Really small. And we'll say this is by. Karen, oh, let's move that back up there. Yeah. I'm going to move it out of the way while I write my name. By Karen. Woo. What do you think of my handwriting? Nice. This Very is nice. Just beautiful, isn't yes. it? Yes. All right. So let's move on. I want to create a new page here. And again, I'm going to bring in uh, another picture. Now let's see here. Oh, this is, this is a must here. It's upside <laughs> down. So again, two fingers to rotate. There we go. No big deal. So if your uh, students mm -hmm. take pictures upside down, you're still safe. Yeah, you Goodness. can always reorient All your right. pictures. And again, I can go ahead and <laughs> choose to type, he does push-ups. <laughs> Mario's awesome. <laughs> just, I want to capitalize that, just like Joe. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. New page here. Let's see, what else does uh, Mario do that Joe does? Oh, yes. He likes coffee. Yes. Joe. Yeah. All right. So we're going to bring in a picture here. We've got one picture. Uh, another feature is that you can bring in more than one picture. Because mm -hmm. here, Mario has one coffee. But you know, that doesn't always work for Joe. Sometimes Joe needs two coffees. Heck, sometimes Joe needs. Three coffees, right? <laughs> Never know. It depends on the day Joe's having. So <laughs> here we go. This is a three coffee day for Mario. Two coffee day. He just wants to be just like Joe, right? There we go. And a one coffee day, which is very rare for Joe. There we go. All right. Oh, I see a little bit of writing in the background. I say we get rid of that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so another option, again, with that paintbrush. I don't know if you notice on the bottom that there's an eraser, right? So I can go ahead and, and begin erasing. I'm going to choose the thickness, thick eraser, mm -hmm. so I can get rid of that. There we go, very quickly. And go ahead and choose some text. Mario wants mm. coffee. Whoop. Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Joe. There we go. And again, uh, I'm going to hide the keyboard here. I can also keep with the same theme in the background by choosing that paper and mm -hmm. keeping that book kind of uniform. Yeah. You like that? Yeah, I like it. So we have this book about Mario who wants to be just like Joe. And I can continue adding pictures here um, and just really making this book very exciting. The one, <laughs> the one thing that's not obvious, though, in, in this, this, uh, 
the app is that you don't see the audio button. Mm. It doesn't show up on the screen. You would actually have to go to the, the pages on the left side. And when you uh, tap and hold, right? Tap and yeah. Hold, so and let's, let's try that. Would you like to read uh, the title page, Joe? Sure. All right. So I'm going to tap and hold. I can also delete, if I recall here. Come on. Or is, it, uh, is that tap? There, there we go. Is. I double tapped there. And so but I, <coughs> I want to go ahead and let him read this. So if I click audio, usually with kids, I'll do a three, two, one. Mario wants to be just like Joe. <laughs> Let's play it back. Sure. Mario wants to be just like Joe. <laughs> Let's try this again. Ready? Yes. He does push-ups just like Joe. <laughs> he does push-ups just like Joe. <laughs> One more, Joe. One more. Mario wants coffee. Just like Joe. Mario wants coffee, just like Joe. All right, one more thing I want to share with you before we go ahead and finish up our book and publish it is that you can rearrange the pages. So if I decide that, you know, coffee is one of those things that we do first part of the day, you probably do your coffee before your push ups, maybe. And that's a cool idea that Karen just brought up is that if you have a book, you can create one ahead of time. As a teacher, yeah. As a teacher and put them out of sequence and then have the kids reorient the, the pages to, follow me? Yeah, yeah like sequencing, sequencing exercise. Sequencing. So if you write a story or maybe even utilize a story that they know, a folk tale or a tall tale, so forth, create your pages, disorganize them, put them out of mm -hmm. sequence, have them order them, but also you can have them record themselves reading. So anyway, to uh, reorganize these pages, if you just hold your finger down on a page, kind of mm -hmm. becomes a little larger, but now I can move it around and reorder it so that the coffee happens before the push-ups. Because Mario drinks coffee and then he gets real hyper, and then he's got to do push-ups. Kind of let some of that hyperness <laughs> out, right? <laughs> All righty, so on the top left, I don't know if you see the done button, but once you click the done button, you're now saving and publishing your book. So you'll see publishing my story three. And now, ta-da, it is finished. And you can see I have several books here to choose from. The book <laughs> I created right now, right? That one's cool. My Park Elementary book. And we can preview Mario Wants to Be Just Like Joe. There we go. Mario Wants to Be Just Like Joe. Awesome. He does push-ups just like Joe. <laughs> I skipped page two, but I think you get the no, point no, here. That's, that's <laughs> got it. Well, get out. And again, I'm sure that um, as educators, you guys find a lot of reasons to create stories with your students, whether it's a story they've written, they're retelling a story, creating an alternate ending to a story, or maybe writing their own little poetry book. Um, in closing, I want to share the poem that 4C put together. Each and every single student contributed one page to this book. Um, they brainstormed the ideas for which pictures they wanted. Mm -hmm. They hand typed everything in, and I want you to know that it took about five to seven minutes for each kid to create their own slide. So it wasn't a very time consuming task. Um, they did the brainstorming and I think they did a great job. And mm -hmm. so in closing, let's share that book with you. Park Elementary, a poem by 4C. Bookshelves full of books. <laughs> it does look with good. lessons to be learned. Textbooks ready. What will we learn next? Numbers. Mm -hmm. Letters. Maps. Planets. And important people from the past. Principal and staff keeping you free from bullies. That's awesome. Coaches keeping you fit, healthy, and active. Teachers keeping you busy, smart, and educated. The cooks keep you healthy with vitamin-filled food. So many things to learn and do in one place, Park Elementary, is 
the place for every kid. Notice the kids use the maximum 15 pages. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I hope that you enjoy the Story Buddy app, and thanks for joining us today. Thank you.